Beautiful in the world. Say hi, I'm Vela Noah. Hi. Hi, Bonita. Hola, yo soy Vela Noah. Okay. This is usually the best time for me to take a shower, so I'm gonna hurry up and do that because you know, as a mom, you only get a five minute shower, if that. And then I have the Hello Baby um, baby monitor, so you just turn it on. That's what it looks like. And there she is. Um, so I'm gonna take a shower and then change her diaper. Um, and then just chill with her for a little bit until she goes to sleep. And then I'm gonna have a chat with y'all because it's been a while. So they can see your face in me Father teach me how to fall in love with simple things Surely I will give you glory for eternity You are all I need Once upon a time the mustard tree was just a seed Grow my faith, O oh Lord, and show me what is heavenly Jesus, you're the truth, it doesn't matter how I feel Whoa. glimpse of what goes on in the morning she'll just sit in her swing until she falls asleep so she's been doing pretty good with falling asleep in there um but i will say she just started doing this this week so if you're you have a two month old and your two month old is still attached to your hip don't feel bad because this literally came out of nowhere i haven't been trying to practice she's starting to do that on her own so it just comes with the age thing and then it's also a comfortability thing a comfortability thing so whenever your baby feels comfortable to just go to sleep without you or whatever the case may be then they'll do it and the mom is honestly just taking care of your baby and cleaning like um yeah so being a mom is a calling like i'm not trying to just um bombard y'all with just you know jesus 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 but being a mom is a calling. Not everybody gets to be a mom. Not everybody can have kids. And not everybody has that choice to take care of the kids or not. So, um, you know, you definitely need Jesus throughout these first three months, I would say. After the first two months, it, it gets easier. I will say, like, after the two-month mark, you're like, okay. They start sleeping better through the night. They're not waking up twice. She only wakes up once through the night. Um, if that she's starting to try to sleep through the night and like yeah so that first month that first two months is very rough being a mom once you get through those you will be fine I love the job and I'm gonna be the first person to tell y'all being a mom is a hard job the newborn stage is very hard there were some times that I was thinking Oh my goodness, this is so hard. I don't know how, like, I'm going to do it. I don't know why 
I was chosen to be a mom. All of that different stuff went through my mind. Y'all, motherhood is beautiful, it is, but it's also hard and it's okay to talk about those things. So um, I started a Facebook group for new moms, young moms, pregnant moms, um, to talk about these things, just to post little encouragement. Like I didn't go through postpartum depression, but you know, there are days that you're gonna be sad and I just want to say, don't take those days that you're sad for being postpartum depression. Your hormones were up here. They suddenly are here now. Um, I think I covered everything for the most part. As I think of stuff, I'm going to talk about it. Um, I put like a little, not a poll, but a little questionnaire on Instagram. So you guys asked me a few questions, not many, but I just answered them in this video. First question I got was the best thing about being a mom. And I literally told my mom the other day. Just knowing that you're the most important person in this world to somebody. There's nobody else that is more important than me in her life. And I just love it. Another question was most valuable thing you have or lesson that you have learned being a mom. Um, this is cliche, but enjoy the moments. I'm learning to just enjoy it. Take it day by day. Once you get through that hard period in you know motherhood or the newborn stage or whatever the case may be just enjoying every moment of it am i still in school yes i am still in school so last semester which was fall 23 i finished all of my prereqs for nursing school so um yeah i didn't apply for this semester which is spring 24 because I would have had like six weeks out from nursing school and like six weeks is six months behind nursing school. So I said, you know what, I will start nursing school fall 24. So come this fall, I will be in the nursing program. Next is postpartum body. I'll show y'all. So this is my postpartum body. My stomach was a lot flatter when I was breastfeeding, but this is all food now because I'm on birth control and birth control makes you eat. So, marks. That is honestly my postpartum body. And like, I really don't have time to just work out with her. My stomach has gotten a push from eating so much and not working out which i hate so i will just say that that's my biggest um insecurity right now i guess like it's fine because it's two months postpartum but by six months postpartum i want to have that going she is waking up or she woke up let me get Okay, <laughs> that's not funny. Got spit up on the life of a mommy. Yeah, mommy. Somebody asked about work and mommyhood, I guess. Honestly, it's not that bad. Like I said, I work anywhere from 15 to 20 hours a week. Monday through Friday, I work from oh. five to eight. So that's just three hours. On Saturday, I work an eight hour shift. And on if I work on Sundays, then I work a four hour shift. So they kind of play around with my schedule just to give me that 15 hours a week. So I told them minimum 15 hours, but that's all I need. Um, and don't mind this spot and this spot. Craigle Cap got the best of us. Somebody asked, um, how's my relationship with her dad? I mean, we're still together, so he's doing really good with her. Do I see more babies in the future? Not right now. I can't look that far. I can't see that far. I can't see no babies in the future right now. I think that's all the questions for now. And I use the eczema therapy of Vino during the day. And then this during the night is the Vino with the oatmeal and lavender.
I'm gonna cut my hair up because oh. okay so we're just chilling right now um I'm getting hungry usually my boyfriend will be here by now but I'm getting way too hungry so I think I'm just gonna go and get me something to eat she eats every three hours and it's about to be 30 minutes till the time she needs to eat so we're just gonna go ahead and go and then get back and then we both can eat at the same time all right she's already in her car seat let me get her blanket where's your blanket let me go get your blanket a little carnigan because it is a little cold out there and braylon is ready let's go For you, but faith is just so hard. Pride is still my poison, but oh Lord, you know my heart. Praising God no cost, so help me use it as a weapon. Gain so fall and one. Your grace is so much greater than all the sin I've done. You so love the world that you gave your only son. I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be far. Um, so now I'm going to talk a little bit about pumping, my pumping journey, breastfeeding journey. I'm about to pump. Right, the pumps I have are the T Street pumps. Honestly, they're like a dupe to Mom Cozy. These pumps are really good. Mom Cozy is just a little too expensive for me. This is the on button. This goes down. I'm sorry, this goes up. It goes all the way up to what is that nine? I cannot. If you can, if you can do your pumps on this nine, you have like a power nipple or something. But I usually do mine on four. And then it also has this setting, which is the massage setting. So it'll massage it like five times, and then suck and suction. And then when you put it on the regular section, it's just constant suction. I typically pump for 20 minutes. Sometimes if I feel like I'm still full or I feel like I still have milk in me, I'll let it go to 30 minutes and it stops on its own after 30 minutes. There are pros and cons to pumping and breastfeeding. Pumping, you have to, you know, do it around the clock just to empty yourself with breastfeeding. You just feed your baby and your boobs are fine. You just kind of have to find what works with you. For the most part, I strictly um, pump, but on occasion i started putting her on my boob now when i left the hospital when i was at the hospital she was able to latch when i got home and my boobs got engorged she wasn't able to latch on as good so that's why i started strictly pumping whenever you're coming home from the hospital already have your pump if you're planning to breastfeed because sometimes it doesn't work out the way we need it to and then your boobs are engorged and then you don't really know and now it helps me get more risk when other people can feed yourself. what helped me establish my supply body armor mixed with coconut water helped me establish my supply typically i started pumping just eight ounces but when my milk is really here i pump anywhere for eight to twelve ounces in the refrigerator it lasts four days so i just put the date on it whenever i start it and the date that i have to bag it four ounces i'm gonna add it to this one put them both and right This is five ounces, so in total I pumped about nine ounces. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all know what's going on here. So, I don't have any more Ziploc bags, but this is not all from like one milk bag in. I think there is one from the 9th and then the 13th and then I just recently did the 16th. So I just need to put them in Ziploc bags to make bricks. And then this is my deep freezer. So I have, what is this, 27 bags. 
also i just want to say please don't worry about having a freezer stash honestly if you have a good supply enough to feed your baby then you should be fine okay so before i get ready and clean her room it i have to be to work at five so my mom's gonna come home at like 4 40. she said she had to run a couple of errands so i'm gonna get ready just in case she wakes up and i won't have time to get ready or whatever so yeah this is what i have on for work you have to wear all black so I just have on a black shirt some black dress pants and then i typically wear my black crocs on with it and my name tag and i just have some earrings on and this so that's my work attire i have about 30 minutes until work and about probably 10 20 minutes till my mom gets home typically i pump before i go but I just pumped like an hour and a half ago, so I'm gonna take my pumps to work. So right now I'm gonna brush up her room and the bathroom. I think I can get it done before I have to go, so yeah. Topping up the mess, drop it in the water, let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind, hold her hand. And don't believe a lie, you understand me Walking down the valley, pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet Teach her how to I wanted her to tell y'all how she likes being a, a glamour, a gammy, that's her name Okay, yes, I am a gammy for the first time and I love it Um, Braylon, it <laughs> Why you saying? Bray. <laughs> you was looking at me too. <laughs> you turned, you like, oh, I was just smiling. Okay, oh, oh, it was what? It was like, oh, okay, I was just smiling. Oh, okay. Don't try that one. Uh, I mean, just, I'll cut it out. Okay. Yes, I am a uh, gammy, a glamma. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Okay, you don't, you you don't want me to look at you. Okay, I just no, I just, it, it okay. didn't look real. Okay, okay. Um, yes, I am a gammy, a glamour, glamour. <laughs> you doing it? <laughs> Is it a? <laughs> you doing a fake thing? Mom, Why you Mom. Doing this? <laughs> can you? You saw how you just looked, didn't you? I, okay, my, I don't know. Just just you keep saw going. saw it though. I know okay. you're doing it on purpose. Okay, okay. I'll just smile like this. Okay. Yes, I am a uh, glamour, a first time gammy, and I am really enjoying it. Braylon is um, the new light of my world. <laughs> this is foolery. foolery. <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is, a, this, is that a new TikTok thing where y'all do that? <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> It's called smiling at my boyfriend, mom, or whatever weird. Let's see how it <laughs> I'm sorry, that was four times. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, I am a uh, first time gammy, mm -hmm. a glamour, and I am really enjoying it. Braylon is the life of the party. She demands um, and commands the room. Um, she Unfortunately, she has gotten very spoiled by her papa and her mother, um, <laughs> and maybe her father, but um, I am trying my best not to spoil her so she can be well balanced. Mm -hmm. But I am enjoying her. I can't okay. wait for her to grow older so I can kind of see what those traits and characteristics and see what her <laughs> personality is going to be about. Yeah. So that's going to, that's something that I'm looking forward to. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to just ask you this quick question. How did you feel about being a glamour so early on? Because I'm 20 years old for you guys that don't know, and I got pregnant at 19. So mm -hmm. will you briefly touch on that before I go to work? <laughs> okay. Um, well, at, in the beginning, it was shocking. It was a little disappointing. I'm not going to lie about that. Um, because you know, most people feel like it's um the end all, but it's not, it's not the end all. Um, babies are a heritage to this world, to this earth, and I just knew that God had um 
uh, allow it to happen, you know, for various reasons. And so I just put my trust in God and I knew everything was going to be okay. So um, if I was disappointed at all, it was for a short period of time. And that's expected. No mom wants their child, you know, to become pregnant uh, if they don't have a um, stable place and you know their own home and all right. that good stuff but i know everything is gonna work out um for the good and has worked out for the good yes so. one hour later all righty you guys i just got home from dollar general and work i'm sitting here holding my beautiful baby Hey guys so i'm gonna end the vlog here i just want to thank you guys for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe here's a little bit here we're going to sleep bye guys hey, bye